right, welcome Sweet Rides back here, Trick Ways to Do Things. We're showing you how to install a drain plug in your transmission pan or engine pan or whatever pan you have that holds fluid. And this one's pretty cool. It's got the washers and the nut and everything, and it was like five or six bucks at the auto parts store. But you'll actually take this bolt out right here. With the, It's got a seal on it right there. So, first thing you're going to want to do and you can get a lot of these at Harbor Freight, a lot of these uh, tools that we're going to be using at Harbor Freight. This happens to be, I was in the old tool and die business for quite a few years. So everybody should have a vernier set of vernier calipers. You can use anything really. They don't have to be digital. Um, so you wanna measure this right here. Doesn't have to be exact. I lock it down so that I don't move it because a lot of times I move it. Okay, it's uh, 486, 486 thousandths. It is, uh, if you ever try to drill this kind of stuff, thin stuff with a drill bit, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the one we want to go to. That size right there, that's how many steps. So we're going to go to count them out. We want to be at that one, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Once I get to five, we got the right size hole. And watch how easy this works. So, all right, let's turn it over. Okay, we're going to go to right there. See how this goes right here? Okay, and then I, I check it. I don't trust myself. So I know one more step. I like it to be quite tight. There it is. Look at it, doesn't wiggle around at all. Trying to move it this way. Now you got your drain, drain pan. Now you can take and remove the burrs on this, okay, which we're going to do. All right, we're going to remove the burrs. And I do the outside flat stuff with just a plain old file. I got the burrs out of there, like that. And I flip the pan over and I'll use a angle die grinder. You can use a piece of sandpaper if you don't have one of these. We're just going to... That's it. And you can use a piece of sandpaper on that, but there's no burrs on it now. Okay. Now we're going to clean the pan up, and I'll show you a video of what it looks like with the plug back, the drain plug in it. Pretty awesome setup. Because if you're going to keep your vehicle, you should have a drain plug in your transmission pan. If you don't, put one in it. Okay. Make sure you subscribe for trick and cool and affordable ways to do things. All right, guys, it's all done. And uh, as you can see, plugs in and what I did was I put a little bit of uh, thread locker on it, Loctite. I don't plan on it coming out of there and I put it only on the nut on the inside because I don't, I don't want that moving uh, from there. Now if you're really good and you have a wire welder you can take this plug, take the nuts off and wire weld it to the pan or if you're good at brazing you can braze it in there. Um, I'm doing it the way most of you would do it with the kit and what I did is I took a center punch just a punch and I went around and hit it with a ball peen hammer and dented it because I don't want the nut coming loose if I have to tighten it up on the outside so there it is there and on the outside here I put a little bit of uh, blue RVT just on uh, just on the bolt for the outside just on the washer nothing on the inside and then uh, there's where you'll drain it. You just screw this out. And every time you change the transmission fluid every 50,000 miles or so or what have you, just screw that out and it drains out. Take the pan off very easily. 
That's it. There you go. Hope it helped.